Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, but before we begin, what are we going to talk about today? Well, yet again, install and preview video. Why? Well, because I just love doing those. These are very easy and very, very helpful to you guys. And you seem to be loving this series as well. So I thought, let's keep it rolling. Now, today we're going to talk about the install and preview of AIM ROM, which is for the Xiaomi Mi A1. We will look at the process of installing this particular ROM and then we will move on to the features, what are the bugs, how usable it is and usual stuff that we do in our install and preview. But as you know, before we begin, here's a card to the latest giveaway, which gives you a chance to win the brand new Redmi Note 5 Pro with an unlocked bootloader once we hit 10,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Apart from that, if you like motorbikes, travel vlogs and a lot of fun stuff, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I'll ensure that I put some quality content on there. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, my name is Kalash, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin. All right guys, so another install and preview for the Xiaomi Mi A1 and today we're going to have a quick look at another ROM. The name of the ROM is AIM ROM. It is based on Android 8.1.0. Now the reason I'm doing so many installs and previews for this device is because these are some ROMs that have never been covered on my channel and that is the reason it is very very interesting to have a first look at these as well. Now as always, usual stuff, make sure you have at least 50% battery, back up all your data and all the usual things that you need to take care of at the same time i am hoping that you have downloaded the files and copied them to your phone's internal memory because we will need them to flash so first things first go to wipe and do a swipe to factory reset after that go back to the home screen go to install and select aim rom and swipe to flash now as always this flash will take anywhere between five to ten minutes because I this is something I wanted to talk about in the previous video but uh, let me talk about it right now now everything is brilliant about this phone but then again I don't know why to flash a custom ROM it takes a longer time compared to some other phones like the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I understand it has a faster chip faster internals and stuff like that but it flashes custom ROMs really really fast Nonetheless, wait for the ROM to flash and then we will go ahead and flash Google Apps and then we will have a quick first look at this beautiful ROM. All right, so looks like the ROM has been flashed. What we will do now is go to install, select Open G Apps and swipe to confirm flash. Now, I really want to see if I'm getting any errors because if you remember, in one of my other videos, uh, Google Apps flashed all right, but then again, they were not present. The Play Store as well was not present. I really don't know why that happened, but that's fine. Uh, the package that we are using here is the Pico package. Now, Pico stands for the smallest one, like smaller than Nano. And uh, this basically just installs uh, all the important Google Play services. And at the same time, it installs Google Play Store. So let's wait for it to finish the installation. All right. So looks like everything has been flashed. What we will do now is go to wipe cache and Dalvik and okay, then reboot system, do not install. So the first boot may take two to three minutes. So please be patient while the phone boots up and uh, it would be exciting to have a first look at the boot animation of this beautiful ROM. All right, so let's have a quick first impression at the boot animation. Something 3D, something different compared to the flat style boot animations that other ROMs have. AIM ROM is the name of the game. Looks pretty, pretty solid. I'm expecting something different from this ROM. So let's allow the phone to boot up and then we will see what different does it have. All right, so that was a quick first boot and the home screen is very, very clean. So we have aim walls which is basically the wallpapers it's an app for wallpapers so that's good looks like they're serious about what they're doing then we have the camera let's have a quick look at the camera here okay so the camera is working bouquet 
We do have bokeh mode as well. Let me see if that works. And if any of y'all had uh, any doubts, here's a quick look at the picture. So the front camera and the rear camera is working. Let's go back to the settings menu or the home screen. FM radio is there. Let's go to settings here. A uh, very, very clean user interface and a lot of curves here. So that is something that I like. Um, it says LTE. So we're going to test VoLTE. That is voice over LTE is as well now let's amify is the name of customizations over here now as serious as this rom looks um okay one thing that i didn't check is oh okay so it looks like uh, my google play store package is bad so that's okay we won't be including that in the next video because you can go ahead and flash google apps if you want but i'm doing rom previews so the rom is the main thing for me nonetheless let's go to let's amify and there is a ton of customization you can enable the 4g icon you can enable the voice over lt icon which clearly means that the voice over lt is working uh, what is good here is the smoothness i am really really liking the smoothness here so you can go to animation customization you can customize each and every animation you can go to lock screen, double tap to sleep on lock screen, double tap to wake. And the experience is very, very fluid, which is something I really, really like. You can customize your notifications. You can customize your buttons, power menu, navigation bar, volume rockers, hardware keys. Recent UI can be customized as well. You can change your icon pack and stuff like that. So that's a hell lot of customization, general mods, battery charging light. You have a three finger gesture here. So yeah, three finger screenshot in a custom ROM. Well, looks brilliant. Disable force closure, notifications, wake lock blocker. So that's good. What do we have here? Help us help you. Okay, so this is basically instructions if you want to submit a bug or something like that. And that's a screenshot. Uh, okay, there was a slight lag there. But then again, to be honest, uh, the UI is very, very fast and responsive. It's something that I really, really liked. And uh, apart from this, the ROM is very, very bare bones is what I would say. I did not find any issues as such. Now, what I have come to believe is that uh, almost all the custom ROMs for this particular device are in a wonderful shape these days because I am struggling to find any major, major bugs which would be a you know, deal breaker. So you have this here. So running services shortcut and uh, let's have a quick look at it. So free memory is 2.5 gigabytes out of 4, which is not bad at all. The name of the launcher is Ruthless Launcher or Ruthless Launcher, whatever you want to call it. So if you're thinking of giving this ROM a try, I can give this ROM a thumbs up. You can definitely go ahead and install it and, you know, maybe you can install Google Camera. I will be making a dedicated video on Gcam for the Mi A1 as well. I know there are a ton of videos about that particular camera, but I would like to make one for you guys in smartphone tutorial style as well. For now, this was the install and first look of AIM ROM based on Android 8.1 for the Mi A1. This is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Stay tuned for great videos. Goodbye.